Yeah, man, we back. Um, I got my boy Chris King in the building. We just over here chopping it up. Good vibes, good everything. As always, we always have dope conversations, man. You know, that's why I got you to come co-host tonight. Um, let's talk about these. Speaking of Atlanta first, you were the maze. Yes. Tell me about what it was like coming in the maze and your matriculation, if you will, mm. at Benjamin E. Mays. Ooh. Competitive. Um definitely you saw a lot of money a lot of people um a lot of the kids there their mom dads were doctors and lawyers all the kids had bmw range rovers um as far as that lifestyle like you know all the kids like the you know the flashy stuff but as far as education um very competitive very hard working um you had those teachers that were loving you, they weren't gonna pass you. They cuss you out if you was doing bad. They had so the majority of students had wealthy parents. Majority of the students and yeah. Mays and Mays a good percentage. Yeah, doctors. I mean, I'm talking about the majority. Majority, yes, because Mays is in the the Cascade. Cascade, which is if you know if but you're from here. But do they send their kids to Mays though? Yeah, they do. Yeah, I thought they send their kids to private school or North Atlanta or Grady. No, I I didn't hear about Grady until I met you. Yeah, Grady wasn't even on the map. But anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, and um, maze. Yeah, because Cascade is one of the most well, it is the wealthiest area for Black people. So, you facts, know, facts. Not, yeah, but um, yeah, maze was one of the best decisions that I could ever made. You know, the teachers encourage you to do, um. Just let your creative creativity flow. Mm -hmm. You know, even in in band, like that was one of the best decisions I ever did. That's why I was able to play more than one instrument. You know, Mr. Irvin didn't stop us from exploring. Grab an instrument if you think you can do it, pick it up. It's there. You know, if you want to do track, you can do it. If you want to do basketball, you can do it. Like everybody was doing was super multi talented at Maze. Like nobody was just doing one thing. I understand it because most people I know that went to so well rounded. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, most people that I know that went to Maze, they were. Like, it was like even when people used to transfer from Grady, I went to Grady when they used to transfer and go to. Unfortunately, Maze, I, sorry. It's like they it brought out a different element of them. Like they kind of like became. It's like they matured. You know, in a yes. weird way, they like they became themselves when they went to mm. Maze. Like I wanted to go to Maze when I left eighth grade. My brother went to Maze. You know, I didn't know that. Yeah, you graduated in 2002. My brother went to Maze, too. He graduated in 92. For real? Yeah. But another thing that Maze make you very mature. That's what I was saying. Yeah, like, yeah, basically. But even from the responsibility of how you get into school. So Maze is just not, you don't have to live in, in, in the Cascade area to attend. You can literally be living in Clayton County like myself. Who you can know Marta going to that? I lived in Clay Club when I lived in Maze. Okay. Yeah, so because we thought we we're gonna move back to the city, Clay County had lost their accreditation. My mom was like, "Either you going to Carver or Maze, right?" What was your zone school? What was my who? Zone school out there in Clay County. Mar Clay County. No, I was at Riverdale High School. Riverdale. Okay. Uh huh. But um, so my brother was like, "Well, he going to Maze." I put him. I'm like, "Nigga, you graduated in '92. All your folks gone. Twenty years ago. Right. Like you know. But he. It was. You know, he went there when my band director was there. So he, him and my band director went to school together. That was a connect. Ah. Mr. John Chandler, they were best friends. They graduated together. Who who was our so hype man? Mr. Chandler, man. Where he at? Hey, man. Jack, all the look, way from 3450. I went to Grady. And that man, the AP is legend, bro. Like, yes. Jamboree, all that. Like, I remember the time y'all did Jamboree. When this man came in there with the Benjamin E. May street sign. Yes. He came in there. And from that moment, I was like, bro, Maze, Maze lit, bro. <laughs> I wouldn't be going to Maze if it wasn't for him. I can't explain everything on the damn camera, but that man is the reason that my journey at Maze was so successful. Yeah. So, and then just the the history of Maze is very the alumni, the support it's black. is black, it's real, it's genuine. The love, um, yeah. The the teachers there graduated from Maze. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's bigger. The legacy of Maze is, yeah. So, so when I went to high school, it was a little controversial mm -hmm. because inner city school, 
what they called it. I didn't know what that meant when I was there. I had heard of it from watching like Disney movies and stuff like that. <laughs> Inner city school, so it was stupid. Our band was a little different than y'all because, mm-hmm. of course, it was always small. Mm-hmm. Um, it was always like an internal battle. Let with, me jump in real quick. Go ahead. But was beasting every time. Small, but yeah, we had quality people on on yes. instruments. Just facts. Um, they didn't support the band. That's why we could never reach our maximum potential. We we reached our peak many of times, but the principal didn't support us. Um, it was always like a battle in the music department between the orchestra and the chorus and the band and all that. But we were always just like the fine arts. Yeah, we were at the forefront, but it was just like they wouldn't support us. But I mean, as far as like, and was the principal African American? He was black. He was black. And didn't even want to support us. But we were in an area that was extremely diverse. There was a lot of white people. I always say Grady was about 60% 60 black, 40% white. I mean, you had other ethnicities. but 100% black. I was going to ask you that, but I I pretty (laughs) much figured. Well, 99.9. Right. You know, you always had your little diverse little students. You whatever. But it was like, I had a great time at Grady. I never was going to even go there. Um, I'm from the south side. I'm from Cleveland Avenue. Over there by East Point. Yes. So, of course, my zone school is South Atlanta. Yes. My mama wasn't going to let me go there. Mm. She didn't even let my brother go there. He went to Maze. I ain't never going to Grady. it's funny how they know. They just be like, you ain't going there. Yeah, because it was just like, like a lot of people I grew up with and, and came up with, it was just like seeing what they was doing. And around that time, it was just like, no, you're not going to the middle school over here and you ain't going to the yeah. high school over here. I went to the elementary school And be over right there. there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Man, the commute, the difference in commute. When I I used to ride Marta to school and back. Sometimes I'd go, my mom and my brother pick me up and take me. But for the most part, I was riding Marta in the morning, coming, leave band practice, hop on the bus, go to train. It would literally take me about an hour and a half. Listen. Average to get home. The difference between that and going to my zone school, I could have walked to middle school. That would have been a 10 minute walk. <laughs> no. Then my, the high school in my area would have probably been a, it, I, I, I wasn't going to walk there. It probably would have been like a, 10 minute drive something like that i mean to cut you off but no, you ahead. know another thing atlanta public schools we have um magnet program so mm-hmm. not no more but yeah now that back then right yeah. but so that's <laughs> another thing like that pushed me to go to maze maze i didn't do math and science but you know we literally used to look at stuff and be like oh this school is the number one math and science this Theral is the number one for um I what for ROTC. Was. Yeah, we, we had like a, we had like an aviation program or something like that, and it it's was like it was real big. Yeah, and was, not saying that Mays didn't have those programs at the other school, but it was just like that school specialized stood out for something for something specific. more. Yeah, mm-hmm. but we all offered the same. But you knew like okay, Mays was the number one for math and science. Grady was what? I think it was something like uh. Between fine Techno- arts and okay, because Carver was technology. I mean, um, fine arts. I can't remember what it don't what it was. What it was, it was something, bro. I can't remember. But, but that also was like a move, like you know yeah. what I'm saying. That like, persuaded you know you're most going people to, to try to go where they go because at a black school, eighth grade, we was like, oh, I want to go to this school. You you know you had the paper you apply for, right? And counselor come over there. You know, it was like, like a oh, you know this school got this program, or you know they got this, or they known for this. And so. if you look at it, it, really prepared us for college, mm-hmm. telling us, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. like you got the option to pick. You know, no matter even if you're not in the zone, like you can go to it. You know? Yeah. So that's how you was able to go to May? No, I just no John Challen. Like we had to, you know, get some people in the area and some, you know, to get that address because you have to be in Atlanta public in Atlanta mm-hmm. to be able to attend. Mm-hmm. But um, Mr. John, you know, we end up making some things work and um, man, I was always yeah. plugged in. I ain't gonna lie to you, I had family that worked at APS. No, right. So I. They had this name back then called special permission. So that's how I went to middle school and high school. So when y'all was applying for magnet program, it was like, where they want to go? I already knew I was going to whatever school I wanted to go to. Right. Because all I had to do was call the Howard building. <laughs> right. We and could, then boom. I'm, I'm there. That's how I went to Grady. I could have did that. But I think, well, in the time that we were going, it was they were being really strict because they knew they were about to get a bunch of kids from mm-hmm. Clint County for the accreditation. I was uh, like, oh, yeah. lockdown. Oh, yeah. Like, we ain't finna. Because you came in high school probably. Two years after me, so we're like oh seven. Oh, Ooh, you know I'm not good at math. Um, I came in about it was I graduated eighth grade in oh five, so we I came so in then, like oh five oh six. Yeah, so you had been like oh seven because I wasn't when I was in the tenth, you were in the twelfth. Right, right. Mm-hmm. So yeah, 
but yeah, man, it was definitely an experience. And if I had to do it all over again, I definitely would. Yeah, I think most of us would. Yeah, because once you get there, I mean, it'd be hard probably in the beginning if you don't want to be there. But by the time you get to like end of your tenth grade year, you you pretty much locked in unless you got a transfer or you got something else going on. You get kicked out or something like that. But by the time I got settled in and graded, I was good. Let me ask you this. Would you do your college experience again or your high school experience? Again? High school, 100 percent. Periods. I'm the same. 100 percent. College was and like, I would just add some stuff that I like. I, I would do everything over again, and then add some stuff that I felt like I couldn't do. And now I'm looking back on my journey. I'm like, nigga, if you would have did that, yeah, yeah. just in hi, hindsight is always twenty twenty, as they say. I never understood what that meant, but it yeah. is. When you look back at stuff, it's always like so clear. Like yes. I should have did this, or I could have did this, or whatever. But yeah, college was more of a culture shock and you would think the culture shock would come from me going to grade it coming from a predominantly black area going to this diverse school but right. college bro it was like going from the city to just country no and i love my people up there. i met some great people up there real you know some, some real lifetime friends and acquaintances but it was a culture shock for me when i first got there i was ready i told myself i, I was not coming school, back and ain't nothing else Especially it's, it's back then they got south more carolina stuff. state that's it. And Claflin. Claflin is a school Claflin, right now. Yes. But now they got more stuff. When I go up there now, I'm like, it ain't that bad. Y'all, right. the freshmen and stuff going in there, they got a whole lot of stuff. But when we went, bro, it was just like everything closed at 7 p.m. And just, you couldn't walk. They only had a Walmart. That's like the main store. You know, coming from Atlanta, we got 10 Walmarts in, within five miles of everywhere. There's a Walmart everywhere. So they had one Walmart where everybody from the other little towns come to Orangeburg to go to Walmart. Keep in mind, Orangeburg is don't have much already. Already, and I'm not saying that to put to put it down or nothing like that because it's a, you know that's how they live. They love they town and stuff. But that's the, that's it was that it was worse rough. for them. It, yeah. So what did y'all do for fun? Like when I was at Cookman, we did. Florida was known for like house parties. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. Oh, that's it like it was you know you go to a house i was like because we, we weren't doing that here in atlanta we're going to you know it was like clubs, clubs and stuff, and stuff. So y'all didn't house. have i thought y'all had clubs in Florida, though. they do but i just feel like i got all my little experiences going to apartments and stuff well, i think Kick college backs. is college though i think I that's a college know. thing you think so yeah because florida got clubs bro and even no, I, didn't say they didn't. I just what think i'm it was saying like I, I think with you being in college and you being around people like that House parties and kickbacks, that's a thing in, in college. But that's the difference. Wherever you are. But when I got to Clark, mm -hmm. coming back home, there was we weren't doing like house parties. I'm not talking about a kickback, like when you just sitting mm -hmm. chilling with drinks. I'm talking about like a house party. Like well, on Clark. Clark is the exception. Anything in Atlanta is the okay. exception. Because okay. you have okay. to think about the location of where they at. Clark, Georgia State, Georgia Tech. Uh, they right here. It's like clubs surrounding the campus. So they'll actually have college parties themed at their clubs and stuff like that. So it's almost like it's a part of the school. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. You You're know right. what I'm saying? So it's like if you had a place like Bethune or South Carolina State Fam, you all It that, ain't nothing. Yeah. yeah, it ain't really. It's not an abundance of those places right there. Like with us, we didn't have clubs. We had probably one club. Maybe two, but it was a literal hole in the wall. I don't think you think know what okay. I'm saying when I say hole in the Atlanta hole in the wall versus there. This was a hole in the wall. And we had this thing where it was like we ain't mess with locals. Like if it's anywhere where locals at, that's, 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 that's somewhere you don't want to be because you really like locals is like, nah, man. We call them locals. Like, you know what I'm saying? Locals, like so locals. outside of local would be just college town. Like, no? No, I'm, I'm saying no, 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 no. So what I'm saying is yeah, if you me, if, so I'm saying we had like two clubs. One of them was like a medium sized okay club, you know what I'm saying? And then anything else like bar lounge club wise was a hole in the wall. But the only thing about those were that's where the locals would hang out. And if you if you were in college up there and you don't know nothing about this place and you don't know, you you're not gonna go kick it with the locals. Like the locals had a reputation of like, I ain't even gonna see here in cap. It was like some some you know what I'm saying? You ain't finna be out here with the locs. Like, nah. So you need to go be somewhere where the college kids at or right. something like that. So that's why we ain't, we had clubs. But if you really want to go out, go out, you had to go to Columbia, which is like 
and that's 45 how, minutes away. You're right. Yes. 40, you know what I'm saying? Roughly an hour, yeah. When I was a, yeah, we would drive to um Orlando. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. like then it's like it's you, just, away, you just in a regular in a place. World, yeah, you right. in a regular place, but there it's like cuz they know they know like or y'all go to state, or this the, the college kids, so they might plot on you, or the, the girls that's there. You never know what might happen. It was slick, uh, borderline dangerous. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't finna. I never went to any clubs when I was in college, but one time it was the band frat. They had a um, they had a band, like a band type party, but everybody was there, and I went to that, and it was cool. We had a good time, but I ain't never went. I never went to no clubs up there, cause so I, we that's what we did too: kickbacks, little house yeah. parties, and. Go to people room and stuff like that. I was clubbing though. For real. I was clubbing. I was Man. trying to get all my little experience in. I was like, I ain't in my mama house. Put the mic. I forgot. You yeah. talking about. Okay, <laughs> now you. you look, say, microphone. You say he went all. You went all the functions. I was going to all of them. Yeah. I couldn't. How did you do that in a band though? Um. Yeah, getting closer to some upperclassmen and you know some cool ones that that so had you a was skipping band practice. I was skipping. I was oh, no 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 no. You made it to band practice and you went got a took a shower and then you hit the road. The club don't. I mean, anyway, you know the club. You don't get there early. But it was just like with us, bro. Yeah, and then sometimes we literally would go to the club. Now you got to think about it. Orlando is like an hour, and I can't remember how far it is from Daytona Beach. Uh-huh. And then we'll damn. Close the club. By the time we get back to to Daytona, take it's a shower. It's time to go to class. Mm-hmm. I feel that. Yeah. Well, the good days. Man, I never even. I wasn't really into it either back then. Hmm. Not at all. I used to mind my business. <laughs> <laughs> Look, get my education, get these papers. Not even that. I used to be so focused on trying to do the music and doing all this stuff. Yes. Like I'm either at band practice. Go to class, you know, and come back to the room and do music or whatever, you know, turn up. Of course, college kids, you know, we drinking and doing whatever college kids do. And yeah, we I didn't go to they used to be some people used to go like, yeah, we're going to Columbia and all that. But never was my thing back then. Did you ever have any bad roommate experience? I had. Whew. I mean, here's the thing. I never liked having roommates. Freshman year, I didn't have one. Had my, had a single room. We'll talk about that later. That little small box. But I had. All right. I had a roommate one semester, and it was horrible. I ain't even gonna go into it, but. Oh, we need go into it. Well, we had <laughs> at state. We would have these dorms set up like apartments, so we had suite mates. We had a suite, right. so it was like so the kitchen and then, and then the, the rooms. four rooms. So right. that. One year I had really, they was loud. They used to be up all night, early in the morning, making noise. They were the plug. They used to, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know what the plugs is. So yes. they, they they used to do that. So it was people always in and out of the room. They used to make noise. They were nasty. I come outside, open my door and see trash bags and stuff just spilled and whatever. So I tried my best requesting like, hey, can y'all move like me? Can y'all you? move? Yep. Yeah. Man, like for real. Like, ain't nobody asking you to be in here like super clean, but. I know some days the dishes ain't gonna get washed, but I'm talking about stacked up. These folks were nasty to the point the trash start to stink. You see flies flying around and all that. Leaving the clothes in the washing machine like it was like it was just theirs. And me, I always had a little attitude. I'm the person like, I'm not finna clean up after nobody. It'll sit here and rot before I sit here and touch it. Like for real, I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not cleaning up. Look that pride kicking like. Yeah, like I'm not cleaning up after no grown man. So they took me out of that suite, put me like across the hall, and that experience was like. Night and day, it was perfect. Like my, even though my 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 um sweet mate right next to me, he was a rapper, so okay. he'll come in there and be making his little music and stuff like that. But he was never up late. He always would finish all Respected. his stuff. Yeah, and it was just that's how he was. He was clean. He a clean up. He was a little older because in our mama house, yeah, you couldn't do that. Yeah, he used to clean up. He used to the bathroom was always clean all day, so that was cool. Um, I never really had an actual roommate like in the same room. I had that for like two months. And then they put me in the um the other thing. I just couldn't. That wasn't ever my thing to have no roommate. I couldn't do it. I I was willing mm. to pay. What I got to pay extra so I can get my own room. Listen, I couldn't do it. Cookman had we had um they gave us a chance to you know like I guess if you had a certain GPA coming in you get to stay in the the nicer apartment style or some somehow yeah, you qualify for it. I don't remember yeah, what it was, mm-hmm. but um. 
I guess because I registered late or something. And mm -hmm. so I ended up having to be in, I didn't get my apartment style. I ended up getting the one with across from you when you wake up. It's a nigga right there. Ah, Can I say nigga on here? Maybe okay, just know, making bro. sure. And then down the hall mm -hmm. was the other one. He had the bigger area, you know. That's what I had. I had oh. that room. <sighs> Buddy in the front never took a shower. Nah. Um, and how do I know is because it stunk as soon as you came in the room. Yeah, God be with him. Um, and then the roommate <laughs> across from me ended up being my, my very good friend. We're not friends today, but um, shout out to Paul, he gave me my first iPhone, um, because hey, he was just wealthy and just giving people iPhones for gifts, but anyway, wow. um, yeah, but um. Yeah, that, that whole roommate thing was probably the worst experience that I've ever had. And I'm not even talking about inside the room. Let's get outside the room where you had to share that one restroom. Community bath. That was the fresh. community. That was or communal, whatever it called. That was fresh me year for us. So oh my God. We lived I had a okay, look, this is my funny story. So okay. before I went to college, you, you know how they assign you your rooms and all that before you get I didn't even go to orientation. So I hadn't even really walked this campus before I before I actually went up there. That's another story too. But so my look, mom, he, look that's another story. That's not we we need all the stories. My mama on the phone with the people and stuff. They like, um, yeah, we trying to she's like, we trying to get the arrangements for my son because we don't have any information about where he's staying or whatever. So they was like, oh yeah, you staying in this dorm. It was called Maze too, named after Benjamin Maze. Like you staying in Maze. And I'm like, okay, who's my roommate? So I was like, mom, ask him, who my roommate is? Do I have a roommate? And then she was <laughs> like- Look, um, like you going on. Right, she asked like, uh, she's like, is it a room? She, they like, no, you actually have a single room. And I was like, bro, I got a single room it was as going a down. freshman. I got a single room. I ain't got to worry about nobody. I'm but is it because so somebody, how did you qualify for it? You about to find out. Okay, my bad. Yeah, no. tell your story. <laughs> so, you know, get there the first night, all that. You know, you got packed. You know, your car full of stuff. You freshman, so you brought everything. You don't know what you're going to do. Your winter clothes, your summer, you br bring everything. Your Hot computers, tarts, your TVs, spaghetti. your foods, your all that. Man. Man, when I get to this room, I'm on the fourth floor. No, I'm on the fifth floor. 506. 502. I still remember the number. Damn, I don't even remember. My I get to 502. And I'm like, yes, I'm in college. This is my room. They finna drop me off and have fun. Like, where everybody at? Man, I open this room door up. And it was literally the size of a broom closet. <laughs> so in your mind, you had already painted this picture of I'm gonna have this big, big that luxurious be a nice room because I'm, I'm not even thinking about the room. I ain't think about nothing. I ain't never been to college or nothing. So I'm thinking about the fact that I don't have a roommate. I don't care if it's a, a room that ain't even so fancy. it was smaller than your room at home. I don't think you understand. I'm trying to. I want you to paint how the picture. small this place was. It was like you open the door and that was the room. You squeeze in a little bit so you can get on in there. Not squeeze the bed over here. And then you got a little room. You couldn't even, you couldn't have more. You couldn't have nobody in the room with you. Only one person could really fit in here. The bed over there, they had this little small little walk room space. And your closet was literally like, if I'm in the bed, I can put my arm out. The closet right there. The window is right there. It was just. So if you pass gas, you couldn't even run from it. Man. Because it was going to be <laughs> stuck with your ass. Right my there. high school <laughs> band director came up there and she said, you got to go outside to change your mind. No, that's what she said. She was like, she, literally. That's why I said it was a broom closet. Let me think about it. She I'll be right like, back. Oh my god, it's a damn broom closet. And I no. was like, it was, bro. It was so I was, small. Mine wasn't. I was it going was small like that. Tight. It was like. Let me see if I can give you some perspective because they ain't gonna be able to see, but you in here. So imagine from that wall right there where your business shirts are to where I'm sitting. That's it. I mean, or smaller than that. Let's say you, you see that little small little um, ottoman. That ottoman? Uh -huh. Halfway where that ottoman is, half of that over to like almost at that wall back here. So you had enough space for basically, let, let me let me give you this perspective. I see, I, nigga, I see that. We had a um, twin size bed. If I had tried to put two twin size beds in there, they wouldn't fit. You would have to cut half I of that I couldn't even bed. put one and a half in there. I could put like a twin size bed plus one third of another one. 
I'm, I don't want to get into that small to mental health, but I can only imagine, bro, like what that can do. A lot of people. That's why a lot of people is depressed. Like as freshmen, yeah, the freshman male dorm. So they had maze one and maze two. Maze two is where we stayed, which was the single rooms. So maze one was bigger, but it was older. But they had most of all of those were like double. But even with that, it was way bigger than what we had. It was more than two of our room put together. So wow. they had room to like my bad. You know how you can you can walk in. Your TV might be over here, one bed over here, another bed. You got an area in between the beds. Right. You got a little area behind the door. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I, this, bro, this room was so it was big enough for a bed. But you know what? What it sound like? Because see, my building it was only two levels, and so the rooms that were maze larger one. to accommodate three people in a room because none of us three people i told you like we we slept so where i laid we had like a, a book i had this like this book sh- like a, a night a big old nightstand like a dresser in the middle and uh-huh. then paul had his side and then you had the hallway and then he had the bigger room but there was no no um, but that sounds like a suite it's not a suite there's have no different, kitchen in there different there's rooms? no micro- no it's I know y'all can't see this, but so this room right here that we're in, okay. Paul bed was over there, my bed was over here, and we separated it, right? Uh, this right here was just a wall where we had like our little closet, but down that hall, so where your kitchen is, that dude had that whole room by he, himself. Oh, so one person had the bigger room. One room had, yeah, but it still went on separate. Like if I look down from my bed over there, I could see him. I could see what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> it was no privacy. You know what I'm saying? So we literally, like, I would see him and stuff, and I'm like, I'm sleeping, and this motherfucker looking at me, and I'm looking at him like, nigga, close your eyes so we can go to bed. You know what I'm saying? It was so weird. And then he didn't never talk. He didn't never say anything. So I, it used to be, that was probably the only uncomfortable thing. Hey, what's the deal with these black colleges putting us in these rooms, bro? That's one thing we got to do better. We got yeah. to work, work on that. Because like you said, mental health, like it would be nice when you just in there in your bed. It's like, I can't go to sleep, bro, because it's just like, I'm in a jail cell. Or you ain't in a room with sleep. strangers. You I mean, I know you can break out, but this he nigga over here was, <laughs> he slept. That's how he was sleep. He'd be like this. And I'll be waking up. I'll, I'll, I'll whisper to Paul. I'll be like, Paul. This dude say, I mean, if I look down there, I can see him. I'm so serious. I, I wouldn't lie to you. And then I look at Paul. I'm like, Paul. And Paul Paul, would, Paul was from Make North sure Carolina. I don't want the camera not to pick you up. Slide over. Oh, my bad, my bad. No, you're good. I'm just making sure that it is. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking that Paul can, you know, help me or something. I'm like, I'm over here. I'm like, Paul, I see you looking at me. And Paul from North Carolina said so he's very country. He was like, I don't know what's wrong with him. I'm like, I'm going to just turn the other way and try to go to sleep. And then you look over. He's still fucking looking. So that was weird. But the restroom thing, that's what got me. And this is this nasty. is disgusting. Nasty. nasty. Yeah. Somebody literally smeared shit. I swear to God on my grandma Man, grave. For playing. you believers, I wouldn't lie. I swear to God. He smeared over the shower. Over the toilets, everywhere. The fact that, and then the thing is, you would never know who did it because it's how many men in this 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 facility. I was like, people are really thrown off, nasty, nasty mental. You know, so it's so many that's a things, mental problem. mental problem. But you, that's they don't. I think they should all the money that colleges are getting. Children deserve. Um, well, they're young. The young men, young women deserve their own space to be able to do what they need. As much as money they're making, At like least, even if you're gonna do the roommate setup, give each person room. Yeah, like, because me and Paul, space. it should have just that should have been one room, yeah. and then have like a door maybe to separate. So I come in, mine, you know, whatever, yeah. something. If we get out of bed at the same time, like we, our feet might. <laughs> no, we did, and I just and then, you know. You have your own personality. You wake up, Paul, get up. He making too much damn noise. His oh. class is at nine. Yours ain't to twelve. You know. So you and he like, man, up. Day, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a little extra sleep. No, you be day. glad you don't see your roommate. Then, like, oh, then he want to come man. talk a little more. And I'm like, no, listen, I'm, I'm not trying to sleep. I turn over like, huh? Yeah, okay. No, for real. No, okay. So I want to say this. They they knocked that dorm down like two years ago. I feel okay. Like if it went long or so. I'm glad because no, it not, shouldn't have not been. I'm that, glad they said that it was. Like, I don't want to see my fellow children. They said the conditions of it was like where nobody should have been staying there when they knocked it down. So I'm like, imagine how it was when we was there. Just being greedy. We shouldn't have been staying in there. Because right. Still, it had roaches. Like it was nights where. Ooh. 
a few nights out of the week. I had we to, had roaches. I had to kill a roach just to go take a shower. I remember this one time. It was a big. I don't know what you call them. Cockroach. Water water water, whatever. Regular little, little big roach. Yeah. I seen him crawl from out of somewhere and went back in another place. And I literally pulled everything out of that room <laughs> and put it in that hallway. I'm like, bro, I cannot rest in this little bitty room with no and roach they, in here. I can't do it. I never. It took me about an hour, but when he came back, I, he. I, you, no, do it again. You're strong. I don't want my neighbors to. Uh, oh, okay. Because, no, I mean, I know that, that was a strong. I felt it and he didn't even make no noise. No, I, I was like, yes, I can go to sleep now. I couldn't go to sleep like that. We didn't experience any bugs. Well, I didn't when I was there, but just that cleanliness and a bug. I mean, it ain't no telling that the other roommates had experienced that. Bruh. I mean, you Luckily, know. Luckily, we didn't have no bed bugs in there because I've heard stories of other colleges of people having bed bugs and stuff like that. We ain't have nothing like that, but roaches just come from like a whole bunch of people cramped up with their stuff and people ain't clean. Some people clean. You know, just roaches will travel not with you. Sanit- that all time. They will stuff. they will travel from yeah. city to city. So you got people just all over here with <laughs> Look, bringing in Delta first class, okay? Man, rent free. Man. <laughs> <laughs> 